Welcome to the 51st Miss in the Continental 2023 Big Shamel Ship. Yes, 
Gentlemen, greetings from the vibrant city of Sharm El Sheikh, right here in Egypt. My name is Sarah Ndanu Teshna, and I'm going to be your host for the night, and I hope that you're ready to be thrilled tonight. Are you ready? Are you ready? Fantastic. Tonight, we are so thrilled to be here at the magnificent Tal Avenue, right here, courtesy of Sunrise Resort and Cruises. We are thrilled to be hosting the 51st Miss Intercontinental. Welcome our viewers from the comfort of their homes and also our very beautiful and elegant live audience. Welcome to the show. We'd also like to let you know that we are live on our social media platforms, that is Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. We'd like to know what you think about the show and who you think is going to emerge. The winner of the title, Miss Intercontinental 2023. <laughs> Good name. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. I hear you. I hear you. Good evening, Sarah. Good evening. Welcome to Egypt. Oh, thank you very much. Sayyidat wa Sayyidah, marhaban bikum fi Madinat al-Salam, Madinat Sharm al-Sheikh, al-Nabida bil-Hayah, su'adaq bi wujudkum ma'ana, fi Muntaja Miraki, Tal Avenue. Nad'ukum li mushahedat hafl malikat Jamal al-Karrat fi al-Nuskhal al-Wahid al-Khamsim. Shukran. All right, uh, ladies and gentlemen, without forgetting, let's invite and also welcome our panel of judges who have such a hard task tonight. Introducing Ms. Habiba El Sher. Ms. Habiba, Assistant Director of the Sunrise Resort and Hotels. Thank you very much. Our next judge is Mr. Vincent DePaul. Mr. Vincent is a two-time Emmy Award winner and actor from the USA. Moving on swiftly, our third judge is Mr. Christopher Losher. He's a former music video producer and owner of, of the Swiss oldest model agency, Times Models. He also was, the, uh, for many years, uh, the license holder of the beauty pageant in Switzerland. And moving on to the lady. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up for our judge, Tatiana Genrich. She is still the reigning Miss Intercontinental Europe and won the title last year, right here at Tal Avenue. Our fourth judge, ladies and gentlemen, is Sora Schumann. She was, she was competing in the annual Top Models of the World contest and was awarded with the title Miss Globe. Ladies and gentlemen, on to our fourth, sorry, fifth judge, Mr. Rudy Omar. 
Mr. Rudy is a stylist from Germany and awarded the best model styling studios for the men and the women in Germany. And last but not least, we'd like to introduce you to our very last judge, who also happens to be the reigning queen, Miss Baungao. Also, ladies and gentlemen, it is important for me to mention one gentleman who is very important to our panel of judges tonight, Mr. Detlef Torsi, who is the Europe Director of Miss Intercontinental and honor of the Miss in Germany contest. He will be on the table, but not judging tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, one more round of applause for our judges who have such a tough job tonight. Thank you very much. Now it is time to shift our focus to the 65 contestants who've been here since the 27th of November, courtesy of Sunrise Resort and Cruises. They have been able to uh, be part of a plethora of activities right here and also visited some of the luxurious hotels right here at the Shamal Sheikh, including Montemare, Diamond Beach, Arabian Beach, Meraki, White Hills, Sunrise Ramal Resort, and Sunrise Ramal Beach Resort. Ladies and gentlemen, we are now going to have a look at a video including some of the activities that they were involved right here at the Sunrise Resort and Cruises. And then after, we shall take a short commercial break. Do not go anywhere. So sit back, relax. We have a lot in store for you, including entertainment. Georgia, 
Sunny a Kopčanová, Slovak Republic. Doroť ťa na naši, Hungary! Jennifer Alvelindol, Sweden! Emily Merchant, Scotland! Lana Taylor, England! Vera Alranta, Finland! Cornelia Govembievska, Poland! Daria Rešta, Russia! Samantha Gosano, Estonia! Damjanovic, Serbia. Laura Kaš, Germany. Sara Novo, Spain. Matilda Naya Rosi, Denmark. Afraviti Merediti, Greece. Savjenić Melisavjeta, Crimea. Anna Beneshova, the Czech Republic. Monika Hersini, Norway. Mary Jo Tulo, Italy! Carolina Omporras, Costa Rica! Georgina Garcia, Dominican Republic! Nicole Alvarez, El Salvador! Titania Michael, Jamaica! Paris College, Philly! Patricia Rosalind Seward, Canada! Stephanie Muller Quevedo, Cuba! Cristina Villegas, Mexico! Pamela Marie Ramos, Puerto Rico! Amber Summer Corbett, USA! In the first days of Miss Intercontinental Competition, all the candidates came from all over the world. We had the opportunity to meet each other and we had a great time. On day two, we did some shooting with the Sunrise team at the Sunrise Ramal Beach Resort. I relaxed by the pool and then we had a delicious Egyptian dinner and went to the 70s party where we did some dancing until midnight. Day three, we arrived at the beautiful Meraki Resort for the first time, and we shot a lot of social media content. And throughout the day, we also got to connect a lot with the lovely girls who are here with me. On day four, we went to the White Hills Resort, where we enjoyed video shoots, then had our official sash ceremony and a wonderful welcome party. Day five, we went to the middle of the desert of Sharm El Sheikh to the Osprey restaurant. We had there a lot of video shootings and after we went back to the Sunrise Remo Resort for the colorful LED party. We had so much fun. 
on day 6 where we're at Diamond Beach Resort having our Baywatch video shoot and also volleyball video shoot as well and at night we have our favorite euphoria party where everyone dressed their very best and hit the dance floor. Today on day 7 we went to the White Hills again which then we had an amazing video shoot which led on to our glamorous 007 casino night. On the 8th day, we did the video shoot at Monte Mare and at the afternoon, we did the national costume for North America and Asia. On day 9, we were at the Arabian beach and we had a video shoot of our national costumes from South America, Africa and Europe. At the night, we celebrate a western party. Hold on, hold on. 3, 2, 1. On day 10. We were at Sunrise Milky Resort. We have a photo shoot and after that Christmas party. And more than that, this memory I cannot forget. On day 11, we went to the Sunrise White Hills Resort where we had our preliminary swimwear competition. After that, we went to Clove Restaurant and celebrated Faro Night at the beautiful White Hills. On day 12, we were in Arabian Beach. That was an amazing day because we had some national costumes, photo shoots. After that, we had Greek dinner and in the evening, we moved at Sunrise White Hills and we had carnival party. That was an amazing day. On 13th day of Miss Intercontinental Training Camp, in the evening, we had a party with our family and national directors. On day 14, we had our first rehearsal for the final show, and then we had our last party. On day 15, we had our final rehearsals for the grand finale. It was a bit nerve-wracking, but it really made the excitement even more real. Each contestant has had their own goals, hopes and dreams, and I hope that we have all achieved them in our own way. We also want to say a huge thanks to our host, Sunrise Resorts, for hosting us here over the most incredible three weeks. Thank you, Sunrise. You know how I feel. It's a new dawn. It's a new day. It's a new life. For me And I'm feeling
feeling so so good the much anticipated national costume parade took place yesterday showcasing the rich cultural heritage of our contestants our esteemed panel of judges has carefully deliberated and made that decision ladies and gentlemen it is now time for our very first award of the night the best national costume Ladies and gentlemen, give it up to Peru! It is now time to unveil the recipient of the highly coveted title of Miss Photogenic. This prestigious honor is bestowed upon an exceptional delegate who has mesmerized the esteemed TV camera and photographers with their captivating presence. In recognition of their undeniable talent, they have been bestowed with a grand prize of 1,000 US dollars. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of Miss Photogenic Award 2023. Mexico! In 2018, during the pageant held in the vibrant city of Manila, Philippines, we introduced a groundbreaking title that truly embodies our belief in beautifully inspiring women. We firmly believe that the beauty holds immense power and with it, one can conquer great heights in life. This prestigious award of the power of beauty is an accolade that grants one exceptional contestant a direct ticket to the finale, and that is the top seven. I have always said that the beauty of a queen doesn't lie only in her physical appearance. It has been a wonderful year as forward of beauty. I want to thank the Miss Intercontinental Organization and its president, Mr. Detlef Overconning, for giving me the opportunity to represent it as Goodwill Ambassador with so much pride, work, and passion. Being forward of beauty allowed me to discover my life of purpose and merge of beauty with the action of social commitment. How happy I feel knowing that my voice as beauty queen can have a positive impact on a father, mother, boy, girl, or teenager who has shared a special moment with me. As power of beauty and together with my foundation, Todos Somos Hermanos Venezuela, I have the opportunity to raise awareness among children and adolescents about concerning topics such as sexual and reproductive health, gender-based violence, environmental protection or human value. I have visited hospitals and I have shared smiles with children suffering from cancer. I have reached different states and forgotten cities in Venezuela to donate clothes, footwear and toys and had some fun myself flying with them and organizing recreational activities. I currently collaborate with an orphanage in the capital city, Ogarbambi, where we provide a temporary home including basic needs, education and love to boys, girls and adolescents in need. Currently, there are more than 100 children waiting to be adopted. Being poor of beauty doesn't represent an obligatory job. The power of beauty must come from the heart and must cross borders. I wish the upcoming power of beauty success in her journeys and a long life with her social project as the new Goodwill Ambassador. To all the contestants from the different continents, congratulations. Forever, 
Emi Carrero, Power of Beauty, from Venezuela. And now, the contestant who won the Power of Beauty Award 2023. Thailand! Congratulations, Thailand, once again, from the continent of Asia in Oceania. Ladies and gentlemen, this year we're thrilled to introduce another exciting addition to our pageant, the People's Choice Award. In collaboration with Choicely and Miss Intercontinental, this award grants one of our charming contestants a direct pass to the finale, and that is the top seven. Loyal supporters, pageant lovers, families and friends from across the continents had the incredible opportunity to cast their voice for their favorite contestant. And the winner of the title, People's Choice Award 2023. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up to Sabia. Just to reiterate, these two contestants get a direct ticket to the top seven. To complete the prestigious 2022 total, we currently have 20 remaining spots to fill. The criteria of becoming a semi-finalist is relatively straightforward. The number of nations representing each cont continent plays a pivotal role in determining the number of contestants that can advance to the top 20. As a general guideline, a minimum of three countries from each continent will secure the spot for the semi-final. And now let's begin with the continent of Africa. Ladies and gentlemen, the three contestants from the continent of Africa moving to the top 22 spot is... Sierra Leone! continent of Africa, ladies and gentlemen, give it up to Zambia! not least from the continent of Africa. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up to Ladies and gentlemen, we move to the continent of Asia and Oceania. Making it to the top 22. The first contestant 
from the continent of Asia and Oceania. Mayama! Second from the continent of Asia and Oceania, ladies and gentlemen, is Japan. Contestant bringing some heat to the top 22, ladies and gentlemen, from the continent of Asia and Oceania. Give it up to Philippines. Coming from the continent of Asia and Oceania, ladies and gentlemen, Vietnam! time to move to the continent of Europe where we shall be selecting six out of the 26 contestants. The first contestant joining the top 22 is Czech Republic. Second contestant coming in from the continent of Europe. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up to Russia! Third from the same continent, ladies and gentlemen, is Poland. Contestant coming from the continent of Europe, give it up to Denmark. Coming in from the continent of Europe, ladies and gentlemen, give it up to...
end. of Europe, ladies and gentlemen, give it up to Finland! Now move to the continent of North America where we shall be selecting four contestants out of the ten. The first country to make it to the top 22 from the continent of North America, ladies and gentlemen, give it up to from the continent of North America, ladies and gentlemen. The next contestant to join us for the top 22 position is... Mexico! to join us from the continent of North America. Let's give it up for... Dominican Republic. Gentlemen, we now move to the continent of South America, which is the final continent. We shall be selecting three out of the seven contestants. The first contestant to join the top 22. Venezuela! Next contestant to join us is Ecuador. the last contestant to fill the top 22 spot. Ladies and gentlemen from the continent of South America, give it up to
and gentlemen, we have one more sport from the continent of North America. One sport. This is the very final. Last contestant to join us to the top 22 sport from the continent of North America. Puerto Rico! Gentlemen, those are our top 22 contestants who will be vying for the crown of Miss Intercontinental 2022. Sorry, 2023. We shall now have the ladies. We shall now have one more walk from our top 22. Please, ladies and gentlemen, give them a cheer.
swimming around of a beauty pageant is significant as it celebrates the confidence, dedication to its fitness and healthy lifestyle. For Miss Intercontinental 2023, the delegates are prepared diligently, embracing a vigorous workouts routine, balanced nutrition, and holistic wellness practices to look and feel their best. Their commitment to physical fitness reflects their strength and discipline, inspiring others to prioritize health and self-care. This segment not only showcases their stunning physique, but also highlights their confidence and empowerment. The delegates exude a poise and radiance, embodying the belief that the true beauty emanates from a strong, healthy, and confident mind. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now time to have our top 22 back on stage.
to your eyes Your fast friends are gone No surprise Not to anyone When you say I don't care You do When you say there's more left for our top 22 in their swimwear. <laughs> all right, all right, I hear you. It is now time to announce the, the winner of the Best Body Award. The winner of this of Yeezia Bodies Award at Miss Intercontinental exemplifies the harmonious relationship between a healthy physique and a holistic wellness. Her dedication to physical fitness is not just about aesthetics, but also reflects the commitment to overall well-being. Through her disciplined fitness regimen, balanced nutrition, and mindful self-care practices, she embodies the priority the prioritizing holistic wellness. She inspires others to embrace a lifestyle that nurtures the mind, the body, and the spirit. And now, the winner of a Best Body Award is...
two contestants of the 51st Miss Intercontinental, Intercontinental represents a diverse and exceptional group of women who have captivated the world with their grace, intelligence, and charisma. Each contestant has demonstrated remarkable poise, talent, dedication throughout the competition, earning their well-deserved place in the prestigious top 22. These phenomenal women embody strength, confidence, and unwavering de determination, serving as inspiring role models for women globally. Their presence in the top 22 is a testament that their extraordinary qualities and their, uh, and their ability to inspire and empower others. Ladies and gentlemen, now it is time to welcome back our top 22 contestants. are now getting closer and closer to finding out who is going to be the winner of the title Miss Intercontinental 2023. But before that, it is time to select our top seven. We shall ask one of our judges, Mr. Dip Vincent DePaul, to come to the podium and give us an envelope with the top seven. Well, this is such an amazing evening. I am so very honored here. I traveled thousands of miles from America to be here to celebrate here at the beautiful sunrise. And I have this very special envelope, but each one of these ladies are winners because they're beautiful and they empower each other. So let's hear it for them. Thank you, Vincent. And now, ladies and gentlemen, as we announced earlier, that we have two contestants who already got the wild card to make it to the top seven. And that is the power of beauty, Thailand. Today, the roles of women are increasingly important. There are rising number of female leaders in the world, including my country, Thailand. I'm also one of them, a Thai woman who believe that we can successfully do anything. I have stepped out of my comfort zone to read the crowd and become a beautifully inspiring woman in my own way. Tonight, I'm telling the world about my self-worth, a very accurate, and I want to inspire everyone through this honorable state. 
Miss Intercontinental. I believe in myself and you, yes, all of you. Let's inspire our own beauty together. Nalin, Chat Nalin, Choti Rawara Chat, Miss Intercontinental Thailand. Right, ladies and gentlemen, the second contestant who got a direct ticket to the top seven. The People's Choice Award. Sabia. I'm Sara Demjanovic, Miss Intercontinental Serbia, and this is my country. I live in Belgrade, capital city of Serbia, which is one of the oldest cities in Europe. Belgrade fortress was built from the 2nd to the 18th century, and the fortress has become the symbol of the city, and it is the most visited tourist attraction in Belgrade. Our country is a great place for history lovers and for the visitors interested in beautiful nature. Serbia has been the world's largest exporter of frozen raspberries for many years. There is the archaeological evidence that civilization in present-day Serbia dates to between 7 and 6,000 BC. Also, it is one of the oldest cultures in Europe, which name is Lepenski Vir. Serbia has more than 200 monasteries and a lot of churches. Temple of St. Sava is the largest Orthodox church in Serbia and it even ranks among the largest churches in the world. The temple is full of gold mosaics. Serbia has produced scientific genius Nikola Tesla, who made many inventions with the goal of changing the world using electricity. Serbs love sports and are very competitive and supportive. The best tennis player in the history is Novak Djokovic. Food is one of the greatest passion of Serbian people. The most famous traditional food is Sarva, Cevapi, Aivar and Kaimak. In Serbia, you will feel like you are at your own home. Thank you and see you in Sharlem Sheikh at beautiful Sunrise Resort. Ladies and gentlemen, I can confirm that I have the envelope with the top five contestants from every continent. It is sealed, as you can see. And now, from the continent of Africa, let's give it up for Sierra Leone! to the list of the top seven. And the winner of Miss Intercontinental from the continent of Asia and Oceania. Renowned 
for possessing many breathtaking vistas, architectural structures with significant historical importance. Being born and raised in the vivacious metropolis of Ho Chi Minh City, I carry a deep sense of natural pride as a Vietnamese individual characterized by vibrancy and vitality. I'm Le Nguyen Ngoc Hang, and I believe in the power of dreams and ambitions. I love martial arts and sift and singing. Train myself with endurance and willpower through challenges. Since then, there has been a mature Ngoc Hang like today. Studying a bachelor degree in international business at Western Sydney in 2022, I had a big turning point in my life when I decided to participate in the beauty pageants. To me, love and compassion is a give and take. I bring and spread positive energy with my actions. I'm your Miss Intercontinental Vietnam 2023 and I'm ready to conquer the crown. Another round of applause for, for Vietnam, please. And now, ladies and gentlemen, moving on to the continent of Europe. A fifth contestant to make it to the top seven from Europe. Give it up to Russia. Hello, my name is Daria, and I represented Russia and the Miss Intercontinental 2023. I was born in Krasnodar in the south of Russia. From an early age, I loved fashion. I have been and is various fashion show and uh, shooting. At the moment, I continue to work in this field. And also, I work in international helicopters company. I like to spend my free time with my family and my friends. Also, I very like to ride a horse. Living in the city, I sometimes want to get out into nature. Horseback riding helps to find, uh, relax and enjoy the beauty of nature. First of all, what I like in people is a kindness. It's important that the person beauty not only outside but also inside. After all, Miss Intercontinental become a bigger hope and love. Gentlemen, moving on to the continent of North America, making it to the top seven. Let's give it up for Mexico. Soy Cristina Villegas Murillo y tengo 27 años de edad. Soy originaria de Guadalajara, Jalisco. Orgullosamente tapatía. Mexico is an incredible and fascinating country that offers a range of tourist destinations from beaches to ruins, vibrant cities and natural landscapes, something for every taste. Mexico's natural landscapes are impressive and diverse, from the tropical jungles of Chiapas to the deserts of Baja California, mountains and volcanoes. The country offers a wide range of experiences for nature lovers. The hospitality of its people is another highlight. 
Mexicans are known for their warming and friendship, making the travelers feel welcome and comfortable during their stay in the country. In summary, Mexico is a unique tourist destination that combines history, culture, nature, gastronomy, and hospitality. Its diversity offers an unforgettable experience for all who visit, making it one of the most cherished destinations in the global tourism landscape. Viva México! list of the top seven from the continent of South America. Let's give it up for... Colombia is a paradise natural, bendecido con una biodiversidad asombrosa, desde sus majestuosas montañas y sus exuberantes selvas y las playas de ensueño, la belleza de nuestros paisajes los dejarán sin aliento. En este recorrido por mi país, me enorgullece mostrarle al mundo los 11 kilómetros de murallas que resguardan Cartagena, ciudad que en cada rincón cuenta una historia de lucha, gallardí y resiliencia, ciudad mágica de islas y playas maravillosas y de una arquitectura deslumbrante, llena de alegría, cultura y color. Así es mi heroica, así es mi corralito de piedra. En mi país existen pequeños rincones que aún se desconocen, pero que el corregimiento del níspero ya no será uno de ellos. Allí se respira cultura, tradición, folclore y alegría en cada una de sus calles. La gente de mi corregimiento vive en tranquilidad y serenidad y disfruta el día a día al máximo. Los colombianos somos reconocidos como un país de corazones cálidos y de sonrisas generosas. Nuestra hospitalidad es reconocida en todo el mundo y siempre nos esforzamos por recibir a todos con los brazos abiertos, compartiendo nuestra cultura, nuestra comida y la pasión por la vida. Los invito a explorar y a perderse en sus tierras maravillosas y a descubrir qué hace de nuestro país un lugar tan especial. Permítanse ser cautivados por sus paisajes, su cultura y en especial por su gente. Permítanse enamorarse de Colombia. one more walk as we get to know them better.
ladies and gentlemen, Vietnam! Ladies and gentlemen, Russia! From North America, let's give it up for Mexico! continent of South America. Let's give it up for Colombia. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time to delve deeper into the lives of our, of our beautifully inspiring finalists. Let's kick off by getting to know the exceptional ladies a little better. And the question is, do you think technology is hurting personal relationships? Good evening, everyone. I believe that we should go forward step with technology because technology is the future and uh, I believe that we must follow and be the future and uh, of course I think that it's not because this is the way how we are connected and how we communicate and technology is one very important factor nowadays so I think that uh, we should continue to follow the future and grow up together. Xin chào from Vietnam! As a part of Miss Intercontinental Family, I have experienced and I found that this is the most memorable things in my life because I met so many talented girls, beautiful girls here, and I know that they are so hardworking. But I do believe that as positive girls and have a bond of connections with all the other girls, it's one of my characteristics that is may make me feel different from other contestants. And right now, I'm here. You know what? Maybe before I went to Egypt, I have told to my people that I want to bring the most beautiful images of Vietnamese women, the most authentic of the beautiful culture of Vietnam, bring to get to other continent to know more about my culture, my Vietnam. 
And right now, I'm here at top seven. I prove it. I do it. I can do it right now. And I'm Lê Nguyễn Ngọc Hằng, your Miss Intercontinental Vietnam. And I'm ready to conquer the new title, Miss Intercontinental. Good. Thank you so much. Absolutely. Thank you so much. That's the kind of energy that we need uh, tonight. Next, we are going to have the Miss Intercontinental Europe. And the question is, why should you win this pageant? Hello, everyone. Period. Uh, I think because uh, because Russian soul is a beautiful soul. Is this, this is a natural soul? В этом мире очень много лжи, очень много всего не настоящего, и мы должны быть тем, кем мы являемся, и не притворяться. И я позиционирую именно это. Мы должны быть самим собой. Спасибо. Hello. We should stay the way we are. That's all about honesty. That's all about being yourself, feeling yourself, and give it to everyone around that be yourself. All of you, all of you, and Dasha. Thank you so much. Thank you very much from the continent of Europe. Now we move on to Colombia. The question is, with everything that you have going on right now, how will you handle the responsibilities of Miss Intercontinental Crown if you are selected? In this moment, if you were the winner, how would you be and how would you be responsible to be Miss Intercontinental? Muy buenas noches para todos. Good evening, everyone. Uh, for me, it's a pleasure to be here to represent my country, Colombia. I'm very happy for to be here. This is the great opportunity for me and for my country. And um, yo continuaría con el legado, el gran legado que va llevando eh, nuestra inter Miss Intercontinental, Bao. She said if she becomes to be uh, Miss Intercontinental, she's going to continue the way that Bao do right now because she's proud of her. Estas plataformas son importantes porque podemos tomarlas para transformar muchas eh, personas y poder ayudar a que muchos eh, puedan se puedan eh, inspirar y puedan salir salir adelante. She say that these passions helps people to become and to inspire another persons to go better, to be better with themselves or with others. Ese es el, el legado que debe dejar una Miss Intercontinental. She thinks that that is the thing that Miss Intercontinental have to do to continue this um, uh, prime, this prime. Thank you. Gracias, thank you. Another round of applause for Colombia, please.
then we'll move on swiftly to our contestant who is Miss Intercontinental North America. And the question is, what will you do if you win this title? Good evening. Buenas noches. Buenos dias, Mexico. I think this... I think this is an important job. It's not just the value of a crown. Each title has its own responsibility in life, and this is one of the hardest jobs I can ever think, because we also have to inspire people, we have to inspire ch children, and we have to inspire women, sometimes women that don't believe in themselves, and they are having troubles or struggles in life, and being here and be part of all of this and saying, Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm a human, and I'm also a person who has passed through many sacrifices in life and through many difficulties, and see behind you, and then see again where you are standing, being able to inspire all people, uh, all the children, all the women, everyone. I think it's the most important Thing in this job. Thank you. And thank you very much. And now we move on to the continent of Africa. is what is the most important issue your generation is facing thank you um, I feel like my generation has so many um, things that are causes for destruction so being um, distracted uh, um, divert your attention from what is important and I think one of these issues that is affecting is also technology. Technology is helpful and as much as it is helpful it is a uh, cause for destruction. Let's say um, our, our generation or uh, our ancestors have tried to bring us to the point that we are. But if technology or, or my generation misuses technology, we will be distracted from where we are going and it will, be, it will forever go down in history that we have the chances to change history. But our generation, because, because of distraction and because of um, unhealthy socialization, has deviated us from what is important. Thank you. Thank you very much from the motherland. And finally, we have Thailand. And the question is, if you could have one wish, what could it be? Good evening, everyone. Sawadeha. If I ask one wish, I want to ask the new generation have to believe in themselves. But more than that, I'm standing here 
not as a woman. I have opportunity to standing here to use this platform, Miss Intercontinental, to be inspiring, to be an example for young generation that believe them this, that not believe in themselves. I can tell you that no one can, no one care your story until you win. So it's now, win by your own. Thank you. Thank you. Shukran. Wow, that was amazing. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. You were brilliant, and we shall be seeing you much later. You had plenty of money, 1941. You lost it all, and then away you run. Why don't you do right? Like some other men do. Get out of here and get me some money, too. You're sitting down wondering what it's all about. If you ain't got no money, they will put you out. Why don't you do right like some other men do? Get out of here and get me some money, too. If you had prepared 20 years ago, you wouldn't be wandering out from toe to toe. Why don't you do right like some other men do? Get out of here and get me some money too. Why don't you do right like some other men do? Like some other men do Like some other men do and the impact she made in the upper holding and the esteemed position of Miss Intercontinental brand as a prestigious beauty pageant spanning continents. Her legacy is beautifully inspiring, rooted in the, in the tireless efforts to create positive change. And throughout her reign, she embraced advocacy, using her platform to shed light to critical social issues. 
her commitment to education, women empowerment, sustainable development resonated deeply, inspiring country individuals worldwide. Her passion for these causes not only elevated the Miss Intercontinental brand, but also transformed the lives for the better. As a global ambassador, she represented the Miss Intercontinental brand with grace and distinction. Her international engagements showcased the region's values of diversity, inclusivity, and empowerment, living an undeniable path and a mark on our hearts of those who encountered her. Her dedication and commitment to excellence significantly contributed to the Miss Intercontinental brand's continued prominence. Her legacy will continue to inspire future contestants, judges, and organizers, ensuring that the pageant remains a beacon of beauty, intelligence, and to empower for years to come. Through her remarkable work, unwavering support, and passion, she has solidified the Miss Intercontinental brand position as a esteemed beauty pageant across the continent. And now we shall hear a word from her. Right, I just have to give a heads up that is uh, won't be a few words, but here we go. Salam alaikum, and xin chào Shamoshe, Egypt. Dear continents, the Miss Intercontinental Crown is a celebration of love that I treasure in the deepest core of my being. On October 14, 2022. I was 21 years old when I came to Miss Intercontinental, possessing nothing but a determined soul and a promise to make the two beloved sounds, Vietnam, heard on the Bristol stage of Miss Intercontinental. But little did I know that the continents had a better plan. Not only I was able to fulfill my promise, to become the first Vietnamese Miss Intercontinental after half a century. I was also able to find a home away from home, and that is here in the city of peace, Sham El Sheikh, Egypt. Even the continents drift, but the intercontinental love, the intercontinental heart, will always beat in harmony with the power of beauty. And the Miss Intercontinental family has given me the power to strive to become a beautifully inspiring woman and to be inspired by beautiful women across the continents. And continents, I hope I made you all proud as I passed on my crown to the next deserving queen 427 days of my life were filled with unforgettable, beautifully inspired moments that will remain as a solid, ultimate core memory for the rest of my life. One year and two months taught me the value of dignity, and this will be my guiding principle in cultivating relationships working at peace towards a common sustainable goal, and most importantly, treating people with respect. Fourteen months, 14 months as your Miss Intercontinental may have gone by, but I will always stand proud to say that I gave my all by carrying the title, not only in my soul, but always with me and my country. In these final moments of me being your reigning queen, please allow me to express my gratitude in the sincerest way that I have ever learned to say. Tôi, Lê Nguyễn Bảo Ngọc, 
Hoa hậu Liên Lục Địa năm 2022. Xin chân thành cảm ơn từ tận đáy lòng. Mãi mãi biết ơn đất nước của tôi vì các bạn, vì đất nước tôi đã cùng tôi vượt qua những thăng trầm. Trong khi tôi thực hiện trách nhiệm và sứ mệnh với tư cách là Hoa hậu Liên Lục Địa đầu tiên của Việt Nam, mãi mãi biết ơn tình yêu thương và sự ủng hộ của gia đình, bạn bè, của tất cả mọi người, đặc biệt là những người đã đặt niềm tin vào tôi. Dù ở bất kỳ nơi đâu, trái tim của tôi luôn hướng về các bạn. Ái Lê Nguyễn Bảo Ngọc, Miss Intercontinental 2022. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. And to my successor, it is true that the crown sits perfectly on your head for only one year, and time is always of the essence. Use your platform to combat this information and stay true to the power of beauty, which is to become beautifully inspiring without taking a tone at someone else's cost. Remember that you are chosen, and for that, you are given an opportunity to make things better. Be prepared, ready for the ultimate core experience of your life. The intercontinental crown shines because of the love of all the continents. And once again, I am tremendously grateful to be the carrier of your love. And continents, you shall have my promise that I will continue to foster and to extend my, the love that you have given to the people who are in need right here, right now, to the voices that have been lost and to people who suffer due to what is happening out there in the world. Let's share this last minute on stage together to commemorate the people, the ones who are absent and to honor our intercontinental solidarity for a loving and peaceful future to come. Engdama, Wugida, our hope, Wugida, our salam. Where there is love, there is peace. Thank you so much, Shukdan, Rikdan. Your Miss Intercontinental Lê Nguyễn Bảo Ngọc from Vietnam. Absolutely gracious and very elegant. Ladies and gentlemen, please, let's give another round of applause for our reigning queen. Well, thank you very much for gracing the stage one more time. Ladies and gentlemen, we shall now invite all the 65 contestants back on stage.
ladies and gentlemen, we are thrilled to welcome back our top seven contestants. Another round of applause for our 65 contestants from all the corners of the continents, please. And now, ladies and gentlemen, our contestants have been here for the last couple of weeks from the 27th of November, and they have been hosted by Sunrise Resort and Cruises. And it is time to give an award for Miss Sunrise Result and Cruises. This prestigious honor is selected by our esteemed major partners and official venue who recognize the extraordinary qualities and ambassadorship displayed by a truly deserving contestant. The winner of this award We'll have a one week all inclusive in one of the sunrise resorts. And that is in Hargada and Sharm El Sheikh. And the winner for Miss Sunrise is. Romania! Gentlemen, we also have another award that we are giving out tonight before we announce the final winners of tonight's Miss Intercontinental. The winner of Miss Popularity. gentlemen we shift our focus to an extraordinary title one that embodies the spirit of camaraderie and congeniality amongst the contestants miss congeniality a distinctive honor chosen by the contestants themselves acknowledges the exceptional bond and friendly nature displayed throughout the competition and the winner of miss congeniality is England
transition draws to a close, it, is, it becomes clear that once an international queen, always an international queen, and once an intercontinental queen, always an inter intercontinental queen. The impact of this transformative experience transcends the crowning moment shaping each contestant into a beacon of empowerment, grace, and resilience. The 51st Miss Intercontinental will not only crown a queen, but also nurture a family of empowered, confident women who will continue to inspire and uplift others while carrying the spirit of the pageant with them for life. And now I will ask one of our judges to bring forward the envelope that will decide the fate of our contestants tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Vincent DePaul. And now, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, I have the envelope well sealed. We shall open it together and find out who is going to walk away with the crown tonight. And now, the sixth runners up. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Runners up, ladies and gentlemen, let's give a round of applause for Russia. up ladies and gentlemen is
gentlemen, taking up the third runners up position is. Sabia! gentlemen we have uh, three more contestants with three more titles to give away tonight we'd like to hear from you back at home who you think is going to emerge as, as the winner of the miss intercontinental 2023 remember the hashtag is miss intercontinental 2023 the second runners up is One of you is going to be the first one runners up. The other person is going to be crowned the winner tonight. In the event that you are the first runners up, it is important to note that in the event that the Miss Intercontinental fails to do her duties or is unavailable, the first runners up immediately takes up her position. And now without further ado, Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of Miss Intercontinental 2023. The winner of Miss Intercontinental 2023. Give it up for...
and gentlemen, it is a wrap. And this brings us to the immense joy to announce that the arrival of a new champion. We want to take this moment to express our deepest gratitude to each and every one of you for unwavering support throughout this incredible journey. We also like to extend our deepest heartfelt appreciation to our sponsors, Noit and Arifa Couture for the swimsuits, the pageant star for the crowns, Sunrise Resort and Cruises, as well as the breathtaking destination of Sharm El Sheikh. And now for the very first time ever, the winner of the Miss Intercontinental 2023, Miss Thailand takes her first walk. Thank you very much, Jelly. Ladies and gentlemen, for joining us tonight. We hope that you did have fun as much as we did.